money will chase you. You can actually teach prosperity to seek you out using the law of attraction. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Success Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we are always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. Reminder, click that bell icon, subscribe right now, because we're here almost all the time with new empowering information on the law of attraction, how to empower your life. High flyers. I know it's a ways away still, but December 21st is coming. It's the winter solstice. It's an extremely powerful day because of, well, it's the darkest day of the year. It's the time when we are most internal, most connected to our subconscious mind and most connected to the infinite field of potential, the universe. So we are doing a three hour intensive. I mean, this is going to be intense, intense training. Uh, we're going to be doing some, uh, looking inside the soul, looking inside yourself. It's going to be an incredible evening. We'd like you to join us. Visit us at master manifesting 2022.com. That's master manifesting 2022.com. Look, it's real simple. 2022 is going to be your best year ever. Say it right now. 2022, no matter what the prognosticators are saying about 2022, it's going to be your best year for money, for love, for success, for happiness, for health. Visit us at master manifesting 2022.com. Going to be an incredible night. So high flyers with all the things in the world that we would like to believe that we can control. The truth of the matter is we can really only control our mind. Now that's important. If you can control your mind, you can control your beliefs. If you can control your beliefs, you can control your thoughts. And if you can control your thoughts, you can control your reality, which means you can control the amount of money and how easily money comes into your life. It starts with a presupposition high flyers that your mind has no boundaries. It has no limits. Therefore your wallet has no boundaries and has no limits. Your bank account has no boundaries and has no limits. So how much money would you like to attract? Well, that's easy. As much as you want, as much as you desire, as much as you can use for yourself and to empower others. So high flyers, before you can transform yourself into a money magnet and having money literally seeking you out, before you can do that, you have to transform some negative thoughts that most people tend to have. And these thoughts are what keep people poor. And for heaven's sakes, you don't want to be poor. Do you, you know, you deserve the money you desire. Here are some of those thoughts. Money doesn't grow on trees. Oh, the rich, they're filthy. Money is evil. I am poor, but I am good. At least I'm good. All rich people are bad. They're stingy. They're greedy. I don't want money because it will change me. I want to be me. I will never get a good job. Money seems to be going out faster than it ever comes in. The poor will always be poor. You know, if you're an artist, you must struggle for your art. I'm just not smart enough to make money. So high flyers, it's negative thoughts like that, that literally keep us trapped in poverty, in a poverty mindset, in a lack mentality. And this is contrary 
to the law of attraction and attracting money and getting money to chase you. How about thoughts like these money is too damn easy to make. The rich are also good. Rich people are clean and prosperous. Money is neither good nor evil. How we use money determines its outcome. I am rich and I am good. Rich people are generous and prosperous and giving money will never change me because money is simply a vibration and I am master of money. I can get a good job anytime I want. Money is coming in faster than it goes out. You don't need to struggle to be a successful artist. I'm more than smart enough to make money. You see high flyers to attract money. You must believe you are worthy of whatever it is that you are doing to attract money. Whatever it is that you're doing, you must believe you're good at it and that you're worthy and that you deserve it. Here's some mirror work that you need to do. Now, mirror work is very simple. When you get up in the morning, stand in front of the mirror after you've cleaned up and after you've shaven or combed your hair, put on your makeup, whatever, and stand in front of the mirror before you leave for just one minute, maybe two minutes at the very most and say this affirmation. I release all negative beliefs and energy over money and wealth. Say that affirmation every day. Don't skip a day. Do this mirror work and look yourself in the eyes when you say the affirmation. When you first wake up in the morning and when you go to sleep at night, say this affirmation. I am constantly absorbing the vibration of money. I am constantly absorbing the vibration of money. You see, you're putting yourself into alignment with the vibration of money. And when you put yourself into alignment with the vibration of money, you start to attract more opportunities and offers and money itself. Money oftentimes just simply shows up in your mailbox money that you weren't expecting. Next, I believe it's important that you get rid of everything in your house that you don't want or are not using just because you bought it and paid money for it doesn't mean you can't give it to the Salvation Army or St. Vincent de Paul or the Goodwill or some charity. You may have a number of sweaters that you're never going to wear again, but they're good sweaters and people would value them. Get rid of them. Start making room in your house for new objects, new things that express your new wealth. Okay. And also declutter your house. Listen to me. This is important. Decluttering your house clears your mind and opens you up to greater potential of prosperity and wealth. High flyers next, a huge secret. Take your bills and put them on your kitchen table and sit there for a moment and put your hands together and be grateful for your bills. You are grateful that you have bills. Every time you pay a bill, you say, I'm grateful that I have the money to pay this bill. I am grateful that I, even if you don't have the money to pay the bill right now, say, I am grateful that I have the money to pay this bill or to pay these bills. Show gratitude even toward your bills. Finally, it seems everybody sets financial goals. I want to earn X amount of dollars next month. I want to earn X amount of dollars next year, but why not set a giving goal? How much will you give in the next month to those who are less fortunate, to those who are in need, to those who could benefit by your giving. Now a giving goal can go toward your family. It can go towards strangers. 
It can go towards the poor. It can go towards those who need education. It can go towards anything where people can benefit by your resource. Give and more will be given unto you. Set giving goals. And as you continue to raise your giving goals every month, guess what? Your income will keep pace. And that's a good thing. That's when money is literally chasing you. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.